Hey everybody, it's Joe. welcome back to my channel. I wanted to talk today about triggers in the media. So, I don't mean the media by like the news, I mean like media that we consume. This was something that uh, was difficult to deal with because I turned to media as a way to escape, as a way to deal. Like movies and TV shows and music were things that I consumed a lot of, especially in the first year after I was assaulted as a way to escape reality. But sometimes they were extremely triggering and re-traumatizing. How do we avoid that or how do we process that? I think that it's different for everyone, obviously. You figure out what your triggers are. Like for me, for instance, it was scenes of sexual assault uh, that they were really, really difficult for me to deal with or rape jokes. Could not process those, would send me into a tailspin, um, was not okay. And in a lot of comedies, I just realized I locked one of my cats in the closet. One second. Poor little Louis was locked in the closet. Poor little guy. As I was saying, comedies would hold a lot of these jokes in particular. So for me, what I had to do was start realizing what content was most likely to be triggering for me and stand-up comedy was something that was like completely out for a while because it seemed like every single stand-up comedy set that I watched had something in it that would set me off and so I just didn't watch comedy for a long time and am still kind of careful with what I watch and as far as movies go I started going to this Christian website called Plugged In Online I think it is I'll put the link in the description but what this website does is review movies like piece by piece and they have this whole um, section that has like sexual content and I would always read that section if they had a review on a movie to see if there was like a sexual assault scene and I was grateful that they reviewed movies like that and so I would get sort of an idea if maybe there was going to be a bad trigger in there for me and that was something that was helpful. It didn't catch everything obviously but um, it was one way to be helpful. And another thing that was helpful for me was asking people, obviously, who had already seen it. You know, my friends who knew what I had gone through would start to tell me, like, hey, this is a really awesome show, but episode three, you might want to skip or whatever. So if people know what you've gone through, they can maybe clue you in on media that might not be so great for you to consume at this point in your life. And as far as dealing with it, I think that goes back to how you process triggers, they suck. Um, I've had to walk, I want to say walk, but more like run out of theaters before when things got really bad. Um, or I've had panic attacks, you know, in the middle of things. And I remember there was one movie that I watched at home. Um, I don't even remember what it was called, but there was a very graphic scene in it that like, I felt like I couldn't turn off. Like I was like frozen and stuck watching it. And after watching that movie, like, I remember I called like an emergency counseling session the next day and had to talk to my counselor about it because I was so messed up by it. So I think as far as processing, like if you, if you come across something in books or movies or music or television shows that really sets you off, um, however you process triggers, do that. But if you can talk to someone, I found that really helpful to just get it out of your head get it out of your system and converse with someone who you trust about it or write it down or whatever it is you do to release it. By the way, that website that I mentioned earlier reviews sexual content, language content, violent content. So depending on what your trauma is, it might be a helpful resource. Um, I've used it, like I said, ever since everything that happened to me as kind of a sounding board for what might set me off. So it might be something you want to check out. I'm obviously not sponsored by them or anything like that, but they're a pretty good resource for general content review. And they're very conservative. So they kind of lay everything out for you as if you were a parent and you don't want to show your kids this movie kind of thing. Um, so it can be pretty helpful as someone who deals with PTSD. How do you deal with triggers in the media? Do you just stay away from content? Do you talk to friends? Do you have other suggestions, which I would really love to hear? Let me know in the comments and I look forward to hearing what you have to say. 
I am Joe Beckwith and this is Trauma Talk. Thank you for listening. I really appreciate it. And I would love it if you hit subscribe or like if you're on Facebook because I would love to see you in my next video which will come out the day after tomorrow. I release videos every other day and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks so much.